So we are so close to WWDC 2017. If you guys are wondering, WWDC stands for Worldwide Developers Conference. And basically this is the time where Apple discuss the software. So we're going to have um, a brand new iOS, which is going to be called iOS 11, uh, Mac OS, TV OS, Watch OS. I'm basically going to be um, explaining like my prediction on features that I want to see for those systems. Um, they're going to be refreshing the MacBook Pros right with the touch bar and with the non touch bar so if you plan on buying a macbook pro um, right now hold your purchase wait until apple um, reveals those refresh for the macbook lineup and they're going to be refreshing the macbook air so yes so believe it or not the macbook air is apple's um it's the cheapest macbook to buy but it's also the most popular i see um, students around campus using the MacBook Air and you know it's cheap it gets the job done and people are still buying it so anything that you plan on buying for a Mac um, hold your purchase because we don't know what Apple is going to do they might refresh the Mac the iMac but even though I think they're going to save that for another press conference but just hold your purchase wait until the conference is done watch OS yeah I mean my watch I really don't use it too much but you know maybe refine watch OS a little bit such as like um, on the home screen, kind of give us like a wallpaper. So whatever is on your iPhone, maybe you can like mirror it from your watch. So it could be like a nice little blurred wallpaper. That would be pretty cool. And I think that will kind of refine the watch and kind of make it more together in a sense. Another thing too, Apple, bring back the glances. Now, I kind of do miss the glances and basically that allows you to swipe up from the bottom and you can actually like control your music and you can have like certain apps and like i love that it's basically like control center and yes you still have it with this but they kind of took away some features now for tv os i'm not an owner of an apple tv just yet but just judging by all the commercials and seeing all the videos on youtube maybe they can add like some kind of notification center to um, tv os so maybe if you get in a text message from your phone maybe your phone is on your charger already maybe you don't want to get up and and you know reply to that text have it come up to your TV and call it a day and maybe you can reply to certain texts. Make it an option because sometimes maybe if you're watching a movie with your girl or family, sometimes you don't want that message to pop up at the wrong time. Maybe it might be a pic that your chick or your girlfriend might send you. You guys know what I mean. If your chick send you a picture, you probably don't want the whole family to see why you're watching like a kitty or friendly movie or something. But yeah, just, just make it an option. Just give us the option to do that or show notifications. Or just very, very similar to the watch OS. Um, have like a little red dot. I think a little red dot on the top of the screen would be nice to let you know that you have a notification to check. So that's for tvOS and maybe add a Safari. But like I said, I'm not an owner of um, the Apple TV 4. Now in terms of Mac OS, now I feel like the Mac, I think it needs like a redesign again. Now I feel like it should match up with iOS. You guys might agree with me, you guys might disagree. And I know some of you guys have been using Macs for years. So you guys kind of appreciate this design, but I feel like they should redesign this. Kind of make it look like iOS with like some of those menus. Kind of like have it like that white, but you can also have like the option to have it like a dark mode system wide. Having this white can, you know, harm the eyes a little bit. And yes, night shift does help, but sometimes things could still look bright so um yeah so apple give us a dark mode and really and truly for my mac i really don't use too much features like that um i have flux installed instead of using night shift and i like flux better because it actually enables dark mode when the flux is on so i you know it has two things enabled i like that um that kind of integration so hopefully apple can have something like that if they add in dark mode um maybe if night shift is on why not turn on dark mode that would be pretty handy for ios it's a lot of things I really want to see in iOS. I made like a whole list of features that I want to see for iOS. And this is very, very important for Apple because iOS 11 pretty much is going to be on the next generation iPhone, which is going to be called the iPhone 8 or the iPhone edition. We don't know yet, but pretty much iOS 11, it needs to be good because this is going to be on the next generation iPhone. Now, the first feature I put down that I want to see in iOS 11 is remove the icon labels. Now, normally on your home screen, you have the calendar. It shows the icon and then you have um, the label that says calendar. Give us the option to remove that to kind of make it a little bit more minimalistic. You can see more of your wallpaper. Speaking of the icons, I think this is time to redesign iOS again. Um, the last refresh that we saw for iOS was iOS 7. A lot of people was hyped for it. It was good to see the different icons. But now we're in iOS 10 and we still have the same old icons. 
Now, me personally, I really want Apple to go back to those classic iOS 6 style icons, but kind of make it a little bit more different. Since this is the uh, 10 year anniversary of the iPhone, kind of go back to those classic old icons, but kind of make it a little bit more uh, modern in a sense. It's hard to really explain it, but bring back those classic icons for the anniversary of the iPhone. That's just me. I love those icons. It was very, very in depth and it, it's just nice. And the animations, I really do miss iOS 6. Now, the next thing I want to see in iOS 11 is a low power mode toggle on the control center. Now, um, don't you find it annoying how you gotta exit, stop what you're doing, um, go to settings, battery, and then enable low power mode? Why can't we just swipe up from the bottom and just enable low power mode right there on the fly? We need that toggle so much in iOS 11 because we constantly wanna save battery throughout the day and you guys understand the battery struggles of the iPhone. Now, speaking of control center, I really want Apple to go back to that one page style um, control center. You could just swipe up and everything was just right there. You have your media controls, your toggles, your brightness, your volume slider, everything was right there on one page. Now in iOS 10, you have two pages. You have one for your toggles and your night shift and all of that. And then when you swipe over, you have your media controls. I just feel like having everything all in one keeps things a little bit more simplistic. So when you try to lower down your brightness, sometimes it automatically swipes to the next um, page of the control center which is the music controls. I find that so annoying. Now another thing too I put down is bring back the iOS 9 um, Apple Music player style. The ability where everything was just like blend into the album artwork so everything was colorized to match with the album artwork. Um, and I really do miss the ability where you have like your history of all the songs that you played in the past. Um, they took that away in Apple. Um, they took that away in iOS 11. They took that away in iOS 10, and I don't understand why they did that. And just overall, the music player in iOS 10 just looks so big for no reason, bold. It just makes it seem like I have bold settings on, even though I don't. They took away a very, very nice music player. iOS 9 music player was perfect, in my opinion, and they just ruined it in iOS 10. Why can't we have the ability to change the camera settings in the camera app? So why can't we change like the resolution? Like maybe you don't want to record in 4K. You probably want to record in 1080p at 60 frames per second. I would have to go to the home screen, tap on settings, camera and photos, something like that, and just change the resolution like that and then go back into the camera app. Why can't we do all that in the settings app? Hopefully Apple can make that happen. And shout out to everything Apple Pro. Hopefully they can fix that little, um, that little camera bug that they have on the iPhone 7 Plus. So hopefully they can fix that in iOS 11. Now next up, I really wanna see this in iOS 11, but I feel like Apple is gonna hold this feature for a future iOS 11 update, is dark mode. Now everybody's really anticipating and really wanna see a dark mode to the iPhone or iDevices in general, and I know Apple can do it, but I feel like they're gonna hold this dark mode feature um, for when the iPhone 8 or iPhone edition drop but probably make it like a future update, maybe like iOS 11.2, something like that. They're probably gonna bring us dark mode. But, um, and you know, the rumors are pointing that the iPhone 8 will feature an OLED display. So the OLED display will really uh, come in handy with the dark mode because with OLED, it turns off the pixels when it's dark. It's gonna turn off the pixels for um, individual um, areas. Um, and next up, I really wanna see like the slide overview have a search on the top. Now, sometimes I spend like two minutes searching for an app and it's hard to really find it sometimes. So hopefully we can be able to search it up on the top. Why not? Just add a search bar on the top, search up our app that supports some um, slide over or the split view and just search up your app and that's it. But for the most part, that's all what I came up with. There's so many more annoying such as like the volume HUD, reposition the volume HUD, maybe up into the status bar. I know my brother was saying it's only there for one second, but that one second can really take away from that experience. And I feel like Apple should put the volume HUD onto the status bar. Why not? All right guys, so that's pretty much all the features that I wanna see in iOS 11. I'm pretty sure there's so many features if I really sit down and take the time out to make a long list, but I'm pretty sure you guys have some more features. Share it down in the comments. So all right guys, until next time, it's your boy Pops, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. And thank you guys so much for watching. Later.